What's going on y'all, Tech Me Out here, and I just wanted to take a very quick moment to show you what is on my Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus at the present time. So I recently made this setup on my phone and I was gonna wait until I drop, you know, my next top 10 Android apps for this month. But I figured instead of, you know, waiting to unveil this then, <laughs> I'll go ahead and do it now. So everything I'm talking about in this video is gonna be linked down below for you so you can download these things for yourself. Be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well so that when I do drop the best 10 Android apps, you'll be one of the first to know. So the icon pack I have up here is known as Terron and I'm just really feeling the way the icons look up here especially in conjunction with the wallpaper in which you see here on my home screen. I think they really match each other very nicely. You know, they just kind of go hand in hand. Now above my apps here, I have a widget which is installed with Zuper widget. And that particular one is known as Europa. So you probably saw this in my last best Android apps video and I've been enjoying it so much that I just decided to carry it on over to this particular setup. So that's what we got there. As for my wallpaper, in all honesty, I cannot remember where I downloaded it from. I have to do better with that, but I did at least save it this time. So you can just follow the link down below if you want to get this one. Now, because I'm using Nova Launcher Prime, I'm able to do a couple of things that I wouldn't normally be able to do, such as, you know, I can swipe here between my dock. So I have these four apps visible when I want them. And outside of that, I just try to keep them hidden because I love this overall look but I love the ease of access for these apps down here. Now, as for the apps that I'm currently running, I have Creator Studio, which is gonna allow me to, you know, to be able to respond to y'all a little bit quicker and stay up to date on how my channel's doing. I also have YouTube, Google Hangouts. Now, what I'm using for my Twitter right now is Phoenix. I also have Instagram. If you don't follow me up there, it's gonna be linked below. Google Maps, because I use that a lot. As for my mail app, I'm using Newton. I really love that particular application because it keeps whatever custom settings I have for my multiple mail accounts in sync across my multiple devices. So when I'm jumping back and forth between my iPhone and my Galaxy and my Mac, if I have custom signatures or anything like that, then that will be carried over via Newton. I also have my calendar app, Spotify, which is what I like to listen to my music on. I also have my settings here so I can have quick access to that. Audible so I can listen to a couple of books on the fly. Snapchat, my camera, Google Keep, and Task so I can stay on top of what I need to get done. And then you know your default apps down there outside of Textra, which is what I use for texting. Now something else that I kind of have hidden underneath the surface of things are gestures. So I'm able to use a gesture, for instance, on my camera here by swiping up and it's gonna launch my gallery. So I like that because then I don't have to clutter my home screen with as many apps because I can just use gestures instead to access things. Another setting that I have is that if I swipe up anywhere on my home screen, it's gonna pull up my app drawer here. And as you can see, it does kind of have a little transparent background. That is all done with Nova Launcher. And then swiping over to my second page, I have a calendar widget. I love this about Android because I can actually see my calendar at a glance from my home screen without ever launching the app. So this is a major plus right here. Then beneath that, I have a few more apps that I'm using, which include Feedly to stay up to date on different things happening in the tech world. I have my gallery app, Snapseed, which is what I use to edit some of my photos. My Verizon app, which it doesn't look like it, but it is. I <laughs> uh, also have the Gmail app there. I also have Buffer to help me manage my social media pages in terms of publishing things up there. And then I have Phoenix too, which is what I'm giving a try to see if I like it better than Talon. So we'll see if I end up switching. But ultimately that is my setup. I'm not gonna jump all the way into my app drawer and show off all the apps I have installed. Uh, at this present time, I just really more so wanted to show you all my current setup because I just think it looks really good. And if you are in agreement of that, be sure to hit that like button down below if you have not just yet. Stay tuned for that upcoming top 10 Android apps video. And as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.